What is cranking wieners? Welcome back to the channel. It's good to have you guys here. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I am doing especially well because today is a very big day. If you guys follow me on Instagram or any other social media that I'm on, you probably know that I've been, uh, well, one, been pretty dormant on YouTube. I've not been uploading a whole lot or as much as Alex and I would like to, but I've made another step, another milestone. We moved out of my first house in Texas and we moved into this house right here. So this is like a, the official move-in day. That's the reason why I'm, I'm whipping the U-Haul. No, I didn't I didn't buy this. This, this isn't the, the trade-in for the Rig Runner or the Land Cruiser, but I figured I'd use this opportunity to show you guys the new crib. I'm very excited about this. And before we get started, I have to say thank you to everyone for making this possible. Without your views, without your support, accomplishments like this would not be possible. So shout out to you guys first and foremost. But uh, yeah, this is insane. It still feels surreal. We actually slept here last night on sleeping bags and today is kind of the official move-in date. I don't have a washer, or dryer, or a couch or a bed. So we got to get a lot of that. But everything that's in the U-Haul mostly is like just some basic stuff, a lot of fishing gear, which leads me to my next point. I don't know if you guys noticed this big bodacious beauty behind me, but this is one of the main reasons why I purchased this place. It came with a 3000 square foot barn. So let's go inside right now and check that out. Before we get this kicked off, I got to get some branding going. Keep fishing, never stop. Rigged model. Without that motto, this would not be possible. I know, I don't wanna to get too to sentimental during this video, but I will say this is a huge deal and I'm excited to share with you guys the whole property. Just to kind of give you the specs, it's a house that sits on eight and a half or eight and a quarter acres and it has a barn. And that's what we're gonna show you guys right now. I'm super stoked. This is one of the reasons why I was so keen on this house. Let's get some more light in here though. Well, here she is, 3,000 square foot barn. The barn is technically bigger than my house, which is crazy to say. But the next house I, I wanted to get, which is this one, it had to have some sort of indoor storage for the rig and the rig. I can fit probably, I mean, comfortably two boats in here, all my kayaks, another truck along with the uh, the Land Cruiser. So this is, this is very spacious. But again, we were just moving in, so I don't have a whole lot in here yet. It's not insulated, it's just a metal barn, which is totally fine, but having this in the fall and then springtime when it's cold and it's wet and it's rainy is gonna be super ideal. The previous owner left this workbench, which is pretty dope. We're probably gonna keep this. It's here to stay. It's actually really well made, like metal frame and yeah, it looks very durable. I didn't even notice the fact that it was metal. It's very durable. So we'll have kind of our tackle cave in this corner. Um, to the right, we're probably gonna put the kayaks. Might do like a huge rod rack section over here. Vertically hang all the sticks, uh, the Guggen sticks right here and then Tackle trays maybe up here. Uh, some camping stuff down here too. Right now I've got the generators and jerry cans. Stuff like that, pretty self-explanatory and it's kind of mundane right now. I do want to do another video once everything is kind of in place, but this is just kind of the intro. Keep you guys in the loop as to what's going on in my life because we have not been posting too much. Buying a house sucks, but once you're moved in, it feels so good. Got a bow here. Actually not my bow, it's my girlfriend's bow, so. Uh, she's kind of one up in me in that department, but maybe we'll get a, a compound. I've got a few recurves. I just don't have a, a compound yet. But you can tell it's her bow because the drawback is like, yep, <laughs> definitely not my bow. There we go. Okay, nice. Still getting acquainted, but for now we've got the boat and the Land Cruiser in here and the kayaks. Should I bring? The, I should probably bring the other kayak in, should I? Yeah. Let's do that. One, two, three. Okay, so you guys got a little taste for the, the barn, the garage, the workshop, whatever you want to call it. Now it is your job to let us know what we should do with this space. It's completely bare bones, totally raw. So sky's the limit. It's got hookup for water. Um, it's already got a little workshop over here, which I think 100% we're going to turn into the fishing portion of the, uh, of the barn. And then you've got kayaks over here. I don't know, like this whole thing can't just be fishing. So you guys let us know what we should do here. I've even had some thoughts of putting like an indoor fish tank in here. You guys be the voice of reason on this, uh, the engine to any sort of future ideas that we have. Drop a comment, you know what to do. But yeah, let's check out the inside. But before we do that, I gotta move some boxes out of the U-Haul into the, into the crib. So just bear with me, but the inside's pretty dope as well. <laughs> How'd you sleep, by the way? Uh, oh. Like a rock. I was gonna say, literally like a rock, because you were glued to the ground. Alex was inaugurating the new crib, uh, and today we're, we figured we'd film a video. Really didn't anticipate filming today, but 
Might as well do two birds, one stone. Move in, crank out a video, share with you guys what my life's like. It's a mess, but it's getting better. Now time for the big dogs. We got full size couch, not a half size, not a medium size, full size couch to move in. It's like 50 different pieces and then we've got my bed. Um, thankfully you're here. Yesterday you were a camera dude, today you're moving crew, so thanks Al. Two shout out to Al in the comments. Uh, this guy's a jack of all trades. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's hit it. I hate this. <laughs> all right, big boy stuff. All right, so we've checked out the workshop, the barn. That's super dope. Lots of potential there. Um, then you kind of make your way from the barn. Let's say you're done fishing. Get the boat in the garage. Come over here. This is the back part of the house. Uh, you've got this kind of wraparound island cookout area. Came with a grill. Came with a kind of like a hibachi stovetop burner thing. Whatever you want to call it. You know, like at Benihana's where they throw the shrimp in their hats. And But anyway, that's kind of what that is over there. Comes with a sink too. So this is basically like an outdoor kitchen area, which is for catching cooks and stuff like that. You don't have to bring any of the, the fish inside. You can do everything right here. Cooking fish, meats, poultries, all the goodness. Also gonna have to get a Traeger for out here too. Maybe put it like, I don't know, right there or something. But yeah, it's all enclosed. It's a little canopy. It's freaking beautiful. Honestly, I've never had anything this nice. I never grew up with anything this nice. Let's now head inside. There we go. Okay, yeah, it looks like we're moving in, doesn't it? Welcome to my crib. Are you excited for the new house? She's like, yeah, but I'm tired right now, so leave me alone. Oh yeah, she's happy. Alex, give me some yeah. Little dog, big house. Here she is, this is uh, the living room where Alex is, is sitting down. He's sitting down because we don't need furniture. Like I said, we just moved in. You guys will have to ignore the clutter. We're working on it. this is day number one. Also, it's a little dark in here too because Power just shut off today, so I'm, I'm now switching over to my name. Just all the fun, typical stuff you have to deal with when moving in, but like I said, slow and steady. So yeah, this is the living space. It's pretty open. Next to the living space, you've got the kitchen. I like cooking, I'm not great at it, but I like cooking, so this is another one of the reasons why I like this house so much is the kitchen is huge. Also, gas burners. I've had induction and electric my whole life. I just hate it, it's not fun. You guys could probably agree, maybe not. Everyone has their certain preferences. This has got a six burner gas stove. It also comes with this little griddle, kind of like outside. So you can, you know, toast up some English muffins, some fried eggs, anything like that. It's a pretty dialed setup. Bunch of cupboards. I know some of you guys are into this, some of you guys aren't. When we first looked at this house, I had no idea what this was. So uh, we're like, oh yeah, cool, where's the fridge though? Yeah, it's right here. It's built into the rest of the um, the cupboards. It's got like the same style, so that's really cool. We've got some, well, you know, these, of course, uh, some Milo's, some stuff to make guac in there, some already made guac, that's about it. First thing we did was we celebrated with guacamole, champagne, and uh, white claws. Just broke the house in early. It's got two ovens. In case one wasn't enough, you got two. Convection oven, and then cupboards, tons of Cosmos. Huge shout out to Cosmos. Spices, sauces, salt, cayenne pepper, garlic powder, all that good stuff. So now let's move over to the left side of the house. Uh, you got a little mudroom space right here. You can put your boots up. Another thing this house came with was a wine cooler. Just over the top, mega bougie. But if you like wine, then this is definitely the cooler for you. This is a cool little room because it's like a mother-in-law suite, if you guys don't know what that is. It seems to be kind of a Texas thing. It's basically a home connected to your home that's also separate, if that makes any sense. So it comes with its own little kitchen sink, microwave, its own fridge. Like there's three fridges in this house. It's mental, actually I guess technically with the cooler it's four fridges, so this house came with four fridges. Uh, we just put my couch in here for my old house, so that's gonna go in here. TV somewhere over here, I don't know, this will be just kind of the chill spot. If we have Guggen's over, they'll be posted up in here, they'll have their own little home away from home. There's a pooper right there, so that's for pooping. This very dark, scary shower, which has lights. But of course not right now. <laughs> there you have it, mother-in-law suite. It's got its own bathroom, bedroom, and living space and micro kitchen. Over yonder, we've got my office. This is where I'll be editing videos when Alex, the editor, isn't editing. Keep all my cards in here. 
any sort of miscellaneous gear. Maybe a nice little spot for Lucky to chill too. Also, new house and new pup. You can't get a new house without getting a new pup. Uh, Kaylee got this little one. September? Yeah. This right here is Millie. She is how many weeks? 18? 18 weeks. She knows I'm talking about her. This one is a little force of nature, but she is the cutest little thing. Look at that belly. Look at that belly, girl. You got a big old belly. Lucky's getting to be kind of an old wiener dog. She's three, but she's acting like an old old lady, so she's not as uh she's not as much pep in her step as she used to, but they tear it up. They're really good buddies, so, so that's good. Got two pups, a new home, and then lots of other stuff to happen. I'll show you guys my room real quick, where where, where I will be sleeping after long fishing sessions. You get the point. There's my old bed headboard right there. I gotta put this together. We're gonna throw a rug down. So before I build that, I wanna throw the rug down. Um, yeah, again, I don't know if you guys care about this, but I just figured I'd show you anyway. Give you guys a little sliver as to what's going on in my life right now. It's a lot. That's why I haven't been posting a ton, filming a ton. I just haven't been filming. We would be posting, but I just have not been filming. Okay, outside we go. We talked about the, the barn, the workshop, the house itself. Um, Alex did some sweet B-roll of what the house looks like on the outside, so you guys get a, a concept, an idea of that. Um, here's another cool part about the house, which I definitely want to utilize in videos and, and share with you guys. The house or the property came with eight acres, and it also came with, I think, 30-something fruit trees, ranging from apples, pears, and peaches. So crazy that it came with these trees. They're apparently also mature enough to be harvested, so that's super cool. We'll go check those out right now, just kind of walk the property. So here she is, all eight beautiful acres of her. Um, these are the fruit trees. I don't know, don't even ask me which one's which. I believe, you guys would probably know, but I believe this is peach. Uh, I don't know where the pear would be. Most of them are peach. That I think down yonder might be apple. Um, damn, I don't know. There's also these huge hedge apple trees too. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a hedge apple. It's pretty crazy, check these out. I have absolutely no idea what purpose they serve. And when I was a kid, we used to throw these at each other just for fun. Uh, pretty dangerous, they're really dense and hard. Like, they're not soft. There's no give with these as well, but I don't know what like what they're used for, like do deer eat them? I'm sure something eats these, totally random, but it's kind of cool, so. No, just basically what we do is just grab one and just eat it off in the distance. There she goes. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Um, okay, let's go check out some of the other trees. I think this one right here is apple. The leaves look a little bit different. Obviously right now, no fruit. We're getting into the winter season in Texas, although it doesn't get super cold this time of year. Uh, these, are, uh, these are, I think, seasonal plants, so they'll blossom in the spring and then they'll bear fruit throughout the summer. But again, I also don't have a green thumb, so don't ask me. On to probably one of my favorite parts of this property. You would think, you would think it would be the workshop. You'd think it would be the giant outdoor kitchen. But there's one last thing I need to show you guys before we wrap up today's video. And this right here has some serious freaking potential. This property is amazing in itself, borderline perfect for what I do. But this right here, what I'm about to show you, was the icing on the cake. Well, oh, here it is. The part of the house, the property that I was most excited about when checking this place out like two or three months ago. It has a pond. It isn't much, but it's a pond and it's a little bit of water. And the cool thing is, is there are fish in here. I don't know exactly what they are. They look like maybe some sort of minnows, tiny bluegill. But the fact that this this house, which already in my mind and eyes is perfect, came with a pond is just, it's literally the icing on the cake. I'm pretty pumped about this because it means a ton of opportunities for us to make really, really cool videos out here. Uh, you might be able to tell the water's a little low. You can see how much it's dropped. We are kind of in the winter dry season, but at the very least we have some standing water and it's clean water. There's grass, there's reeds, and there already is a pretty substantial uh, source of bait fish. So if we do put bass in here, if we do put bluegill, crappie, whatever, they will have something to feed on. My goal for this is really to make this like the ultimate little pond, the ultimate backyard pond. It's tiny as hell, but I want to make it bigger. And if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section below. I've never done anything like this. I do have a pond on the main property, but that's pretty much ready to go. It's small, but it's deep. Whereas this one is kind of small and shallow. Um, there is an easement on the right side of this pond that kind of leads into it. So I, I believe the water, once it floods, comes from my neighbor's pond into here, and then it drains down to the easement. Uh, so I wonder if I dig that out, wait for a good rainy season, that this pond will get bigger. But you guys probably know best. Drop a comment, let me know how I should go about making this pond bigger, more badass, and just turning this thing into the ultimate little backyard pond. But uh, yeah, we'll save this for a different video. I just wanna show you guys, give you kind of a quick hint and a taste for what is to come. 
such a cooler pond and it's crazy how many like there's bluegill and minnows everywhere there might be some bass in here i don't know there could be some crappie but only one way to find out and that is to wet a line oh also too the pond comes with an alligator check this puppy out nice little gator little gator guy the last owner of this house was walking the property with me and i guess people think that that gator is real and they'll stop at the side of the road and throw rocks at it so uh, probably gonna want to move that just because I don't want people throwing rocks on my land. But I just think that's funny that it comes with a, with a, a, a gator. It kind of looks real from a yeah, from a distance, I guess. I just think it's kind of cool. The pond, super pumped about that. I hope you guys are too. It's just so neat. Look at it. It just sits so perfectly on this land. And we could literally build this thing out all the way too. I mean, we can make this like a one and a half acre pond bigger than it already is because it's tiny very micro well gang that is going to do it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's kind of half-assed uh new home tour we're going to do another one of these once the house is, is fully loaded and built out but for now i just wanted to keep you guys in the loop i hear you guys i'm sorry it's just been super busy and i hope you guys can understand the whole house process is uh, tough and it definitely consumes a lot of mental energy which i don't have a whole lot of to begin with and a lot of time as well like i said a hundred times i'm all ears give me some suggestions some ideas stuff we should do to this beautiful eight acres with the house with the garage and with the pond and uh we will make it happen as we always do but anyway i'm peace and out signing out thank you guys so much for watching today's video and as always folks keep fishing never stop Thank you.